What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. It has been a long time since we've checked out Hardcore Worlds, so that is what we're doing today. And first up, we have SB737, who is now on day 4400 of his Hardcore World, and he has done so much in that amount of time. He's collected notch apples from all over. Down under his base he has an area where he's collecting all the mobs and even managed to get a few more in his latest episode, but maybe the skeleton on top of the spider was not one of those mobs. In this last 100 days, SB737 has done a ton of work, from exploring ancient cities, building new farms, collecting new mobs, and of course finding more netherite to fill up the netherite beacon. SB737 has been getting a ton done in this world, and you can see these mobs are really starting to pile up. He pretty much has every single one, but I think he's still missing one or two of the more unique mobs out there. But of course it would not be 100 days of hardcore Minecraft if you didn't do a new build during that as well. And this new build that SB737 did looks incredible. I really like the look of this. It's definitely a very uh, interesting build. It's basically a desert pyramid but reskinned into, uh, we're looking at deep slate, blackstone, and a bunch of red concrete as well. Unfortunately, this build was in a snow biome, so he had to go and cover the entire thing in string because snow would just kind of ruin the look of this build, which does make sense. It's not supposed to be a snowy build at all. Next up, we have Oblivious with a 5,000 day hardcore Minecraft world. This took over three years to complete. And of course, in that amount of time, there have been so many projects throughout this world. This massive village here is one of them, which I think looks amazing. We're actually looking at a really cool kind of sewer system here. This build I think looks awesome as well. You don't see a lot of people using that red sandstone. So I love when I do see builds with it because it always looks so good. Not to mention all the detail work that ended up going on the outside of this, the kind of overgrown look that went into it and the builds all around it as well. And as I said, there are a lot of projects in this world. This is a 5,000 day world, so this world is going to be massive, tons of projects. SB737's world that we just checked out with so many projects is only 4,400 days in. So that gives you just kind of a bit of time frame. This world has been around for longer and there are of course going to be a ton of different builds in it. I really like the look of this. All the different types of terracotta all put together there just looks so good together making little uh, houses all put together there. But I think the main project of this world was definitely this village area. So much detail work went into this and it just looks so good. It's got all the different villager types in it from the blacksmith uh, to the cathedral, everything like that, and I think it really turned out into a very good looking build. And of course, if you enjoy any of the hardcore worlds that we're showcasing today, definitely go and check out their channels. We're just showing small portions of this world and there is really so much more to them, so definitely go and check out all the channels down in the description below. Next up today, we have Chapman. Now Chapman has been a long time favorite on our channel because he does so many cool projects in his hardcore world and his most recent one is the ancient city. So of course he goes ahead and he has a giant zoo here and he tries to bring all the different portions of the world into the overworld right here so you can see the nether bastion in the background. He's also built up an end city in this area as well, as well as a massive dragon skull all surrounding the zoo right in the center. Well, his latest project is of course the ancient city to commemorate the 1.19 update and since this is going to be an ancient city build, it has to be slightly underground and absolutely massive. You can see all the other builds around here are huge and they look so cool. And he had to go and actually tear down all of these different builds like the Bastion and the End City to actually build them into this world. So of course he has to tear down an ancient city as well to make it fit into this area. But I think it was well worth it to go ahead and do this build afterwards, covering the whole area in Skulk of course, and then building up this really cool looking platform out of mostly deep slate to get this whole area looking like it's taken straight out of an ancient city. Now it didn't do an actual ancient city build here and I think I actually prefer that doing kind of a unique build that uses all the ancient city blocks but keeping it slightly different and I think this ended up looking really really cool. I think my favorite detail from this entire build is the end crystals that he decided to include in this build 
and after taking out the obsidian and putting in a skull shrieker underneath it really tied in the end crystals to this build and i think made it look so awesome having them floating around the entrance and also the center of this build next up we have a 7000 day hardcore world from dame the dime and this hardcore world is absolutely incredible there are so many different builds around this entire world from castles to monsters and so much more. And each of these builds has actually been dedicated to a specific viewer or friend on his channel, which I think is really, really cool and interesting. It adds a lot of depth to the world and makes it more fun for the community that he is building. But this world looks incredible. You can see all the different builds that he's done here, uh, some in the nether, in the end dimension, and of course, most of them in the overworld. These giant monsters coming out of the water, flying jellyfish, builds that are taking inspiration from Star Wars, and everything just looks so cool. Now I highly recommend that you go and check out the world tour for this because there's so many stories and uh, things to show off in this world that of course aren't going to make it into this video here today, but these builds are looking so cool. I really love this floating island uh, with the castle and not only the castle but the flying hippogriff on the side of it. I think it's such a cool idea to have that flying around and it just adds so much life to this world which I think is why I enjoy it so much. Of course, the builds are all really cool. We've got underwater builds, castles, builds in the nether, and so much more. But having that life, the sea creatures that he's built, the foxes that he's built, just brings so much life to this world, which I think makes it really enjoyable to check out. My personal favorite build has to be this nether build though. The fallen angel is lifting this piece of the world back into the overworld and I think that is such a cool concept idea for a build and it's executed so perfectly as well. Next up, last but not least today, we have Colonel. And if you're looking for a new Twitch streamer, this guy right here, definitely go and check him out. He posts some updates on YouTube, of course, some shorts, some videos of new builds, but most of the work on this world is done over on Twitch. And this world is at now 9,000 days as of the video that he posted today. And this world is absolutely incredible. The room that we're starting out here in is the storage room and this is the area above the storage room where everything is sorted and put into the chest down below that we saw in the roof and these chests are absolutely filled with all the items that he's collected over this 9,000 days of Minecraft. And of course with that as well there are so many cool projects throughout this world. This right here is the entrance to that storage room, a giant barrel on top of a fence which is of course a perfect symbol for the storage room. But basically everything around this world has something dedicated to it. The bee farm of course has a bunch of bees and some beehives around here as well. And if you start exploring other parts of the world, you're going to find things like pirate ships or even builds from Star Wars, specifically Cloud City. And there's an easy way to get to all of it because there is a nether hub in here with ice highways to easily get to every single part of this world. And it is massive. But anyways, that is all the time that we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to our channel as well if you're not already. Also, if you enjoyed any of these worlds, definitely go and check out their world tours and their series and go and check them out on Twitch as well. They are super entertaining to watch and they're doing some crazy things in Minecraft, so definitely go and give them all some love. And this build, this build right here on this world is probably my favorite. Not only is it Cloud City and it has the fight between Darth Vader and Luke, but it also has all of these pillars uh, made up of beacons to look like lightsabers, which I think is an incredible detail to put in here. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.